Okay, so we're going to install Etherpad Lite. Now, I've installed all the prereqs before, but I'm just going to run through the commands so you're familiar with them. So, uh, let's go through to our root folder. I'm in as root. And I'm going to go up to the dependencies. So, the dependencies are build essential, Python, lib, SSL, div, git core, git, lib, SQL, lite, dev, uh, gzip, and tap. So, blah, blah, blah. I've already got all those, so that's fine. Then we're, then we're going to make a folder which is in root, local, we're then going to get um, Node.js, which we're then going to extract using the tar zxvf. I've already done this. This is available in here. We're then going to go ahead and do a configure. Then we're going to do a make. Then we're going to do a make install. Uh, before, uh, instead of just doing a configure, actually, we should really do a configure with a prefix. Uh, this will allow us to set the prefix for the node install. So we'll do that with a dot forward slash configure prefix home local node um, okay I'm just going to quickly show you that just so you can see how it looks so once we've done that we'd usually do a make make install uh, after we've done that we're just going to uh, export the paths which is these two lines once these lines are done we're then going to bring those in it's in source uh, we'll then install npm using curl npm dash uh, pipe to sh um, when prompted, we'll hit yes. Uh, after we've done that, we'll then clone the Git repository using git clone. I've already done this. Then we'll be able to just run etherpad lite. If it prompts you to, which it should do if you're in as root, uh, to type etherpad lite rocks my socks, type etherpad lite rocks my socks. First time it runs, it'll install some dependencies. Second time, uh, dependencies are being installed, it'll just check for them, and you'll see uh, etherpad lite is running on uh, this box.